So this is the website that we shall be building. You can see this logo, you can see the menu area, the reservation button, and then this hero section with the slider, the images are sliding. And then you see some beautiful design here. And then these are the various, these are just a, uh, just a cross section of menu items. And then you can click here and order for any of these. Then you can see the reviews and then you can see uh, the featured logos. And then we have a footer down here. So when we come here to the menu, uh, click on the menu. You can see we have each of these and we can filter. Maybe you want just beverages, then you can get this. You want just pizza, you can get this. This is for pizza ordering. Now look at this. When I click on this, when I click and select, you can see the, this card is floating. Let me just empty the card and I'll continue shopping. So what I can do is that let me just click on go back to menu and I can click here select this when I select vegan pizza it gives me the opportunity to add extra toppings I can add all of this vegan pizza is originally $12 but the more I add the more the price increases let me just go ahead and select all and I say add you can now see it's taking it up to 20 uh, 20 point ten dollars if I want to uh, uh, I can go ahead and do that so it will be two times twenty point ten dollars that's a subtotal there 40 let me click on checkout now it takes me to the checkout page it takes me to the checkout page and then you can see I can go ahead and check out from here we are I'm actually going to show you how to uh, install stripe to integrate stripe to this website you see this reservation button here if i click on it it takes me to the same page where i can order for any of these so that is that now for you to be able to build this website you will need hosting i highly suggest hostinger.com my affiliate link is in the description there are two advantages you get when you use that affiliate link. The first one being that you get a huge discount. And then the second one being that you are helping to promote this channel. So you can click on login if you already have um, uh, 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 an account. Or you can come here and you select any of these plans. You can select the premium plan or the business plan. Let's say I choose this business plan. It's added to cart and it's redirecting me. Now, it's very advantageous. You can choose for 13 months if you want. Or you can choose for 48 months and you get an even more discount. If you use the link, you get a more discount. And then you see you get a very huge discount here. A very, very huge discount here. That is if you choose for 48 months. Then you can go ahead and choose whatever it is you want. Put in your credentials, put in your credit card, and you can click on Submit Secure Payments. Now, when you buy Hostinger, you are actually going to come to a dashboard like this. And then you see the number of websites here. I can click on Manage. So what I'm going to do is that I, I already have a domain, so I want to create a new subdomain. I've clicked on that and I've come here. Uh, I'll come on that domains and you see set main domain subdomains. I'll click on that and then I can create a subdomain here. Let's say restaurant and then I'll click on create. Let's say restaurant one and I'll click on create. It's going ahead and creating that subdomain. That is where I'm going to install all my assets, WordPress. But if you're using the main domain, you can just come to um, Auto Installer. And then 
I already have these domains, but if you had, were using your, your main domain, you just come here, click on WordPress, and then here, I'm going to have to choose, I'm going to have to choose the domain on which I want to install. If you are installing on your main domain, then you are probably going to see it here, but I want to choose another domain, the subdomain, which I just created, I'll choose that. I'll give my website title, put my, um, and I'm going to put this um, administrator email address, website title, and password, and then I'll click on next, and it's going to begin to install. Let me do that here. Let me just see uh, tutorial or pizza website. Then I'm going to fill this in and meet you. Now, as you can see, I've put this year i'll go to next and then it's going to sh sh give me the opportunity the option do i want to turn on automatic application updates i'll see yes so that i don't need to be even if i don't come to the back end for the next 10 years i don't have any problem and say install it's going ahead and installing right now it will take maybe a minute or two so it's finished installing and it brings me to this panel so you can see i already have ssl on my entire hosting account what i need to do now is to click on admin panel and it's going to redirect me to the dashboard to the dashboard that is it is redirection is in progress okay so this is it or when you see all of this it's because you have the hosting plugin installed so i'll come to first of all i'll start with the dashboard i want to dismiss all of this here i want to dismiss all of this i don't want to see them except site health status and then i'll come to post you can trash this and then i'll come to appearance themes I don't want I don't want to use any of these themes 2022, 23 and 24. I want to use come here and search for a theme called Astra. Astra, this is it with the publish blue background. I'll install and activate it. And then right off the bat is going to request recommend me install to install starter templates i'll install that it's installed and it's activating right now and i don't want to go here yet we are going to come to that let's go back to the back end of the website Okay, so what do we want to do? Uh, this is the back end. I'm going to come to plugins. You see the plugins we have here. We have Hostinger and we have Starter Templates. We don't need Hostinger. I'll go ahead and deactivate it. And we need a number of plugins. The first one we need is the Pitch Builder, which is Elementor. I'm going to go ahead and install that. It's installing. Uh, we need this one to very, very important Elementor Head and Footer Builder since we are using uh, the free uh, Elementor plugin. We also need WooCommerce. We are also going to be using WooCommerce. This is it. Then we are going to be using the WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway. Install it here. And then we are going to be using a plugin called Audible. Audible. This is the plugin we are going to be using. 
for the others. Now, when we come to installed plugins, we can see all of this, which we've installed. Now, <clears throat> we can go ahead and also add one, which is optional. We can choose either to use that or to use uh, the starter template is called Envato. We may or may not use this. Um, just watch. So now let's come to installed plugins and we want to activate all of these at once with the exception of starter templates. So to choose all of them, to select all of them, click the checkbox next to plugin and anyone you want to exclude, just click the checkbox and turn it off. So, and click the drop down and click on activate. Then click on apply. It's activating. You can see they are all activated now. So all our plugins are activated. So the first thing we can do now is that we want to, what we want to do now is we want to create our pages because we installed WooCommerce, it comes with cart, checkout and my account. And then this privacy policy and all these, these are uh, draft pages, you can do yours. So what we want to first of all do is that we can choose to use a starter template. Now, let's go to the back end to the dashboard. You see it tells us here, explore starter templates. Alternatively, what you can do is that you can come to plugins, plugins, and when you see starter templates, click on get started. It's asking you to use their AI website builder. We don't want that. It is a paid something, but we'll go with build with templates. It's free. Now, you notice this. There are two kinds of uh, templates here. There is, there are, there are free themes or templates, and there are also premium ones. Let me go ahead. Want to look for one which relates to restaurant this one is very very good this one is very very good but it's not free this one too is good but it's not free this one too is good but not free this one is free barbecue italian restaurant is also free it looks very similar to this one uh, this is a premium template steakhouse library cafe pop this is premium and they, and it goes on and on and on so i am going to be using this one barbecue restaurant now you see it's loading so depending on your brand colors you can choose whatever it is that you want here uh, whatever it is the color that you want here so i want us to go to another website in order to get the logo now go to this website called logomaker.com maker has no e and then you are brought to this page it has a video showing you some stuff we're not going to watch that click on start my design here you can have a free you can create a free logo so click on this blank canvas now look at the way this header is it's quite thin so we want to use something like that uh, ai logo maker know that i doubt if that's going to be free so we want to okay we want to um, search for some elements here some free elements you can search for pizza 
since our website is a pizza hot okay so we can use any of these anyone that pleases you you can use it which one which one i'll go with this one oh no let me go with this one so i'll put it here i'll drag it to expand it and then let's just say we are called resto pizza uh, resto pizza hot whatever you want to name yours you are free to go ahead and name it whatever it is you are free to give whatever name I want to change the designer pick uh, to something funny and funky and then I'll come and change the actual font here uh, I don't think this font is going to do us a lot of justice it's too flat let me go ahead and search if there's another font another funky font we can use can i see that no i don't like that that is not good at all choose whatever you like i've chosen another one oh i think this one may actually be better yes it's long and narrow so let me uh, let me go ahead and expand this I don't know I want to reduce then you can come and choose which of these whichever of these colors you desire I think this is a good color for a restaurant. Let me see this one. Okay. I have a picker, color picker chrome extension. I'm going to use it to pick the color. This is it. The exact hex code. I'll bring it here. And then I'm going to pick this color. I will come here and input it here. I will also put it here. So I don't think I don't think this is a good pizza uh, picture to use. Let me look for another one. Let me use something very simple that everybody that sees, everybody who sees will understand. Yeah, let me delete this. And then... I will choose this one instead. And then I will put it, I will paste. The hex code, what's the hex code here? That should be it so I'm going to use this resto and then I will download it save us and then choose download res low resolution PNG file it's going to ask me to put in my email address here and accept it and then I will when I put in my email address I'm going to if they are going to send it to me by email and I will download it so i went ahead and checked my email and i have not yet received the logo but that's not a big deal we can go ahead and when it's time for us to use the logo i'm going to search my email again so let's go ahead and use this now all of these uh, we are going to build out most of this from scratch so have no fear we are going to build out most of this from scratch 
so let's click on continue we want to be using poppins and then it's asking you for your email and all that i don't need to do this i'll just uh, have all these boxes check submit and build out my website you can see it's beginning to install it now shows me that my website is ready and i want to visit my website let me just click on this and it redirects to another page so this is the website it's quite a good website but we are going to build out most of this from scratch this is the about us page we are going to change a lot of this so you can see these are and then you see i have menu menu items here this and that and this these are just norm and you can see also the contact us contact us it's quite good it's good it's good it's good it's good okay so let's go back to the dashboard the first thing we want to do is that since this is a food ordering website we want to start creating the products we want to create the products what we are selling in our case it's a pizza website so i'm going to come to uh, products or products and we are going to create five uh, products okay we have no product here create a product and the first thing i want to do is that i want to create you can skip all of this i'll just x out of this first thing i want to do is i want to create a category and i'll name this category pizza i'll name the category pizza and then i'm going to click on add new category so this is automatically going to be pizza I want to set a featured product i'm going to go ahead i have quite a number of products here uh, pictures which i generated using ai i'm not going to use all of this let me start with the first one which is vegan pizza it's uploading okay I'll set as featured image and then I'll write here vegan pizza. That's it. Now, let me just get some brief description about vegan pizza. Vegan uh, pizza. this is just for educational purposes so i'm just going to copy the description of this one so i'm on this website i'll just copy this description it's just for educational purposes we are not using it for any commercial and then i'll bring it here i'm going to use the same description for all of them vegan pizza i'll put that there and then the regular price let me see it is 12 the regular price is 12 for inventory and all of this we don't really need to have all of this here now i'm going to publish this i'm going to publish this 
and then if you view this product on the front end you have something that looks like this but this is hardly what we are going to be using we are not going to be showing this interface we remember we installed a plugin called Audible. Audible. Let's um, come to the back end and go to Audible. Just click next. Your address. You can put any address you want. We want to? We want to? Um, we want to configure Audible. I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address here. So I'll click on continue. That's just a dummy. And which services do you want? View offer. Delivery. Okay. You can see both. Monday we work all of these days. Maybe Sundays we are we are off. And then the time from let's see. 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Continue. No thanks. Save and finish. It is updating. So it has brought us to Audible, the dashboard, enable tipping. You see, we can't use this because it's a pro feature. Check out settings. We also cannot use this because it's a pro feature. Side drawer. We can't use that. Okay, we can use this for product options. Notifications. We cannot use those ones. Uh, you can connect your SMS via Twilio or your WhatsApp. You will need your Facebook secret and API keys. Style. You can choose your color here. For us, it was this color. You can choose it. Let me copy the hex code. I'll copy the hex code and put it here and paste it here. So I've put and then the button type should be rounded. Oh, okay, it has auto saved. Product price size, we'll just leave all of these to default. Then come to live order view. It's telling you how live orders are going to be. You can uh, connect with shipping, tracking, that's delivery tracking, Zapier, Who Payments, Table Rate Shipping, Google Product Feed and all that. We are not going to do all of that for now. Let's go back. Okay, Customers. Since we have no, since we have no clients yet, we have no customer information to display. Uh, you can go on the reports, obviously nothing there. Let's go to settings. No, we're in the wrong place. Let's go um, to add-ons or product layouts first. Um, you can add a new layout categories with pizza and it's going to show in a grid format we are going to return to this sorting this is only available in pro allow sorting front end sections images and all that we are going to come to this now since we are okay we already added one um one product so you can see this is how it's going to show this is how it's going to show uh clickable card yes uh Quick view product quantity roller. You can you can you can just leave this. It's not very important. So this is how the products are going to show on the front end. Let me go ahead and publish this. 
you see a lot of these they are in the pro version which you can name this let's say pizza or let's say all products and then you update as for location you can add we already added that so for you to change max orders and all that you can't do them here on the free version because of the limitations so maybe you are making just 200 uh pizzas this uh, today you can't limit that here so there is the possibility of people ordering more than you are delivering so um delivery pick up these let's say mondays tuesdays wednesdays there should be more yes same as delivery for delivery days yes we are doing all of that and then the period all day pick up same as delivery and then other options yes you can do that lead time let's see what how does it take to prepare the order let's just see uh one hour for you to be able to put this even in hours you need the pro version you need the pro version and you can go ahead there are other options holidays you can add holidays which days are you not available and which services are going to not be available on those days maybe it's just delivery uh, people can come to the restaurant or maybe both and that is that pre-order days so you can pre-order maybe five days in advance or up to six days you can put it here up to seven days in advance but beyond that you can't i'll go ahead and save this save changes and then add-ons these are very 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 important <clears throat> you cannot use these add-ons unless you have the pro version and to be just to be fair if you have a pizza delivery service uh there may be several other toppings maybe somebody wants some extra mayonnaise some extra uh, garlic some extra onions or something like that you can do it with the free version so i'm going to put the link for you to get the pro version mind you it's an affiliate link and if you buy and make a little commission now this is orderable orderable pro please use my affiliate link and i'll make a commission so this is orderable um this is it so for the pricing you can see that it is a bit pricey coming it at 149 dollars per year that's 149 dollars i think this is one year updates and support that is 149 dollars it gives you one year of updates and support i want to believe that this could be uh, a lifetime kind of thing uh for audible but definitely is that you get one year of support and updates uh, you get product add-ons product labels other bombs and all that so 149 is for one website if you have 10 websites it's 399 so what you can simply do is that you can buy this for 399 and then you sell the other licenses in other words each of those licenses you can sell them for 40 dollars and you actually be making a profit you sell them even for 60 dollars you'll be making a profit because there are so many people like you wanting to create uh websites for food ordering and then for 25 websites 499 which means um uh, each of these websites uh, 
uh, each of these licenses is going to cost you probably like thirty dollars, which is so. The higher you go, the cheaper it becomes. You can buy a hundred licenses for nine hundred ninety nine, which means each of these licenses will cost you nine dollars. And if you can sell all of this, well, you have yourself some good profit. So I'm going to come to the back end of my website. I'll just go back to the dashboard. If you can hear a child crying, that is my kid, my three week old boy. I think he just woke up from sleep. Just bear with me. And then I'm going to click on add new. I already have the orderable plugin paid for. So I'm going to install and activate this. It's installing right now. Now I'm going to activate it. Okay, so I have orderable pro. I have orderable pro. Now, when you take a look at all of this, you can see that now it's going to show you where to put your license. Let me go ahead and add my license. So I've gone ahead and I've put everything in order. Now, when I go to product layout, you can see this is the short code they give me, which I can put on the front end of the website for it to display. Take for example now, if I take this, I already have one product. Let's say I go to pages and I click on add new or even a post. Let me create a post instead. So let me just um, click close all of this and then I will choose let me search for short code. Let me bring this here and then I paste the short code here. Publish. Let me view post. You see now it shows here so that's how we are going to be doing uh, with this so i'll now come here and i've done this uh, condition this layout for all the products and then for the product add-ons now we are able to add new add-ons here um, let me just see pizza add-ons and then I'm going to first of all go ahead and publish. And then I want to create a field. And I want the add on to be text. You can go ahead and put it as a drop down or a checkbox or radio or something of that sort, but I want it to be text. And then for this one, I have a document here with the different uh, add-ons, extra source. I'll just copy that and put it here. Extra source. Let me cut that. I will not describe anything. Um, default value and all that. Extra source. It's not really required. Let me make this uh, an, a, a checkbox instead, which you can you can um, you can check. And then I will see here. I will see toppings instead. These are going to be the toppings, and then. The price for this will be 0 0.5 and it's called extra source. Another option is going to be extra cheese and it's $1. I'm going to leave this document in the description.
What else? Pepperoni. Copy that. And it's going to be one dollar. What else? Extra pepperoni. You want some more pepperoni? Maybe you're a pepperoni freak. Paste that there. Put the okay, the dollar sign is automatically removed. What next? Ham. I'll copy this and paste it there. And it's going to be one dollar. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put all the others and meet you on the so I've gone ahead and added all of them and for each of these you can put a visual you can make it visual you can add an image here and then you can maybe you want uh, to put an image of extra sauce and all that but we are not going to do that we're just going to leave it the way it is and then make it required you must choose one maximum allowed no we don't want to make any maximum and then we can go ahead and add a condition and the condition is that this applies to all these categories as long as the product category is equal to uh let's see pizza yes then all of this it applies to it uh we can also uh, give another condition uh, but for now let's use it as it is go to update so that is that so before we go ahead we want to go ahead and uh, add some work on the pages the design layout of the website now these are all the pages here so you can see we have the home page let's view it on the front end that is the home page now it's it's quite good but we want to make it a little bit better so let's go let's click on edit to edit this page <clears throat> we are editing with elemental right now so we see this pop-up from elemental what we need to go ahead and do is to click on continue actually i'll come to the back end of elemental come to settings and then i'll um, change quite a number of settings here so i'm going to click on this uh, to give elemental permission to edit this uh, uh, post types then i'll come to let me first of all save changes and then come to features i want to activate all of these yes activate all of these and save changes so now when i come to this home page and i restart you see this bar down here is going to come up that's the latest uh, ui design for LM so you can see it has changed here what I want to do now is I want to preview this on another page. <clears throat> it still looks the same. But I want to go ahead and want to make some changes here. So the first thing I want to do is that I want to create uh, some sort of a slideshow here. I'll click here so that pictures are sliding on their own. So I'm going to click on these six dots and I'll come to style. And here, what we just have is a picture. We just have a picture um, which has been put behind here i don't want this i really don't like um, the look and feel of all of this it's um, it's good but we can do a lot better now it's like they just dumped all of this content here which is not what we want so let me click off this so what i'm going to do is that 
I'm going to come down and I'm going to click on and I'm going to choose this let me take that all over I'll click on the plus I'll choose flexbox and I want to choose this the first container type now before I go there let me change the page layout um, structure click on settings and come to page layout I'll choose elemental full width is going to make give me the opportunity to uh, create content that occupies the full width even during production okay so when i click there i see this let me click here and then i want to make this full width and then what i want to do also is that i want to come to style and i want to put a slide shoe here and for me to put that slideshow, I'll need to import some pictures. I want to add some pictures to the slideshow. This is the media gallery. So, I want to use, um, I have some pictures here. I want to use a number of these for the hero section. So I'm going to use these, these. And why not this? So it's going to be a slider. It's the pictures are loading. So we are going to we are going to add these pictures, create a new gallery, insert the gallery. It will take some time to load the internet is a bit slow. So you would notice that um, this page, by its configuration, I've put the slider here. Let me go ahead and give it a padding, top padding of a, a 200. Oh, I did that all around. Let me see that. And let me go ahead and preview this and you'll see what I'm seeing here. You see, there is a lot of space on the borders and i don't want this and i've um, tried to change it it's not working so what i'm going to go ahead and do is that i will try to create a page from scratch so let me go to i'll go to my dashboard go to pages and click on add new page I will name this home test. I will click on publish. I'll publish the page. And I'll edit with Elementor. Okay. So when you look at uh, the length of this um, box here, you can already uh, experience will tell you that this is already full width i want it to be full width um i don't want it to be like it is here with too much space on the border so i want to this to be full width you can go ahead and copy some elements from here which may not be very necessary but let's go ahead so the first thing i want to do is that i want to add a slider so I'll add a section a flex box and then here now if I copy this from here, this slider, which I'd already put here, if I copy this and just drop it here, it automatically becomes full width, you see. So the other one had a, a problem with configuration. So uh, I'm going to give it a top padding, padding of 200. I'll give it a bottom padding of 200 still. No, not 100, 200. Uh, you can even make uh, let's go ahead and add some elements first and the heading I will see pizza at its best and then I will align this center I will make this white and you can change the typography to poppins 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 then down here you can add some text description and see we have been 
in business for 25 years delivering the most authentic and traditional Italian pizza. I wrote here authentic, that will be authentic. Delivering Italian all our ingredients come directly from Sicily what the Italians called Sicilia okay so I will leave it the way it is and I'm going to make this I'll center that and then I want to change the typography to Poppins. 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 I also want to give this entire section a background overlay. So I click here on the six dots come to style. And then I scroll down to background overlay. I will select black. So you see uh, it gives it a dark background here. Then now I want to add a button. I want to add a button down here. You see this style, this styling comes from the theme. Uh, because I've not put any radius to the borders. Um, I want to pick this same color and give it to the button. I'll paste style there. Then I'm going to see order now. Don't bother about that. We are going to give uh, we're going to create the other page. So, this is it. We can go ahead and preview this. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. But I may want this text to be bigger. And then this wants to be on two lines. So, what I can do is that. I will change the heading text to Montserrat. Montserrat. I will make it 800. Or 900. Still good. I can make it this way. 90. Let it be 90. And then I want to give this. Uh, the side paddings, right side 200, left side 200. And see if, and let's look at this. Yes, it makes sense, but this text is not yet on two lines. Let me make right padding 300, left padding 300. And then <clears throat> I will split the text to two lines, this text here to two lines uh, by putting a code. Watch what I'm doing. You are not, you, you, you must not do it the way I'm doing it, but this gives it more beauty. And then I'll increase the line height. I will increase the line height to 80 to give some space between the two lines. Then I can go ahead and increase this text to 150. You see, the bigger the text, the more you need to increase the line height because they suck up space. Okay, when you use PX, you are limited. I will change the line height uh, measurement to EM. It gives you more opportunity. It gives you more um, greater flexibility with the line height. So I'll leave it the way it is. Pizza at its best. Okay. Let me see how it looks now on the front end. Yes, this looks really, really good.
But this text, you see, it's not still the way I want it. I can go ahead and still make it. You see, now notice all of this is for the desktop version. For the mobile version, you need to do some editing. Okay, so when it appears on three lines here, it means it's really been split on desktop. So I will go ahead and increase the background overlay. I will increase the background overlay, the opacity to 0 0.6. Save that. Now I like the way it looks. So this is um, the hero section. This is the hero section. And then I can go ahead and add some stuff. We can take inspiration from the previous design. Okay, so what we can do is that we can add a section below here. And I want to add three equal sections, equal columns. I'll add these two and then I'll duplicate one of them. Here, in here, I'm going to add the heading and then some text. And in these two other columns, I'm going to add a picture. So I can add the heading here. And I want it to be on three lines. I'll say get the best Italian pizza. I'll say get the best original. Italian pizza so I want this to be dark or I can make it to be this gold color this gold color I'll paste the hex code there and all our headings should be Montserrat I'm good you can go ahead and change it on the theme customization and then the weight should be 900 900 and then let me go ahead and make this really big really big so get the best original italian pizza let me reduce because it's overlapping and then i can add some images here I'll add these images here. And you decide the resolution. You can make it custom resolution. You might want the width. You might want it to be, um, since it's going to be vertical, I want it to be 1280 by, no width, it should be 1920 by, 1280 no the width should be 1280 and then the height should be 1920 so what that does is that even if i i add a horizontal picture here is going to trim it to be vertical now let's take a look Let me select one of these pictures. Let me go to my desktop. I have some pictures there already. Okay, I have some square pictures. Uh, let me add these, all of these square pictures. And let me apply some there. They are uploaded. Now, let me add this first one. I don't like the way it's looking. I already clicked on apply. There must be a problem here. Okay, the width. Let me change it here instead. The width, I'll make it pixels. And then these two, that's on the style. I'll make these pixels. And all of these should be pixels. So the height should be 1920. And the width should be 12. 
80. That is just too big. So we can divide these figures by 2 or by 3. And then, so I will divide 1920 by 3. Uh, 1280 by oh let's even see uh, by 4 and I'll divide these two by 4 and I apply them there that's what is going to be displayed let me do the division and then I'll apply them there so I went ahead and I use these dimensions here but it looks really blurry and it has pressed in the image so what I want to do is that I want to delete this let me delete this and then i'm going to add the image afresh i will just use the square images the way they are i'll use the square images the way they are i'll reduce this actually i'll add some icons on top of here i'll add some icons on top of here uh the same hex code the same hex code i'll make it this hex code and then i want to go ahead and search for chef chef there is none let me see kitchen kitchen nothing utensil yes i'll use this and then i can just duplicate this column and then change this And I'll change this to this. And then I can change the icon and see food. Whatever, anything. Same utensils. Any icon of your choice. So this is this. I want to give this a top margin. Of 100 let me reduce the line height here the line height is going to be something like 70 and then I'll add a button I can copy this button I can duplicate it and then I can drag it here It's on the wrong place i'll drag it below here but since this is already gold i can change this to black and then the typography should be gold the background the typography should be gold and then the background should be black That makes it look a lot better. So if you look at this on the front end, this is what it looks like. And then we want to add some more to the home page. We basically want to add some recipes to the home page. So we'll come here and look for image box image box okay so with this image box you have a lot of flexibility as to where you want the image to be you can make it to be on the left hand like this and then you want the image to be vertically aligned or under you can make it to be on the right side like this but i want it to be on the left side and then i want it to be aligned to the middle and then there'll be a heading and then there'll be some text now the image spacing and then the image size you can change that the image width you can make it to be a hundred 
uh, percent if it's in pixels you can make it to be bigger sorry it, it, that should be em let's just use uh, percentage it should be 100 percent and then there are also a number of things you can do for this image i want it to be i want to choose an image here one of these square images one of the images of uh, the dishes let me use this one it's a square image and then for this this should be vegan pizza i will change the heading to be vegan vegan pizza vegan pizza and i want that to be still montserrat so the image reduce we'll leave all of this for, for the opacity you can go ahead and increase the opacity that depends on you i'm going to leave it the way it is i'm going to leave that the way it is and then i'm going to go to content and make this text i will change the color to that and then i'll make it montserrat montserrat and then 900 let me increase the size too i'll increase the size actually i want to make sure it is always on two lines even on mobile so i'll do the same thing here when i come to style i want to increase the line height and then the description i want to make it black and it should be poppins not a roboto poppins so this is what this is it That is the description poppins. Let me see if I can add a button inside here for book. Now, this is what we can do. I can align the button to the left and then I can reduce the top margin 100 minus no that is too much now you see the button falls within this text alignment yeah so i align the text up i've come back to style i've aligned the text up so i'm going to come to this this button I want it to be up so that people can order. So 80 or 75 minus 80. And then I'm going to change the color. I will change it, the text to be that gold color and then the background color should be black and i want to give this a top padding a top margin sorry of 80. i want to give that a top margin of 80 and then i just want to go ahead so i will change the button text to order now order now so you want to order vegan pizza this is it you can order now i can just go ahead and duplicate this i will delete this other one i will duplicate this but before then let me give 
um, all round margin of five and then I'll give this all round margin of five same here and then for this I want to see I want to see um, what uh, NYC pizza I can go ahead and change the color the image rather to something for NYC pizza no this is not my image this is what came with the theme let me go to downloads uh, this should be Lagos pizza but okay I'll use Lagos pizza Lagos pizza let me change this to Lagos pizza so anybody can order for any of this I will go ahead and duplicate this okay I will duplicate this but I'll reduce the top heading here the, the top margin sorry and I'll just remove it all together and then I'll see NYC NYC pizza and then I can change the color the image rather um, this is New York pizza that is that at the image for this you can see white pizza white white pizza and then you change the color to white pizza where is white pizza okay here it is I called it that now just so you know these names are just uh, fictional they are just names I give out with my discretion so that is that I can go ahead and uh, I've saved that right now let me check the mobile layout how it looks on mobile for these ones not bad not very bad but for this the header needs a lot of work the hero section so I'm going to click here go to advanced and then the top padding I'll make this 50 let me remove that I'll make the top padding 50 and the bottom padding 50 I'll change the typography that is that let me make the top 150 for the text I'm simply going to remove the paddings and then I'll give now left padding I'll make it 25 right padding 25 so that is that it's quite good now for this we can reduce the text size it doesn't have to be this big okay let's increase this And then I can reduce the line height. That is that. And then for these, the 
the content, the headers, the titles. Uh, let me reduce the titles. Actually, they don't even need to be. I will leave it the way it is because I already separated that on. Or I can remove the line breaker. If I remove the line breaker, it will not affect the, the desktop layout. Let me check that out. Yeah, it still maintains the line break on desktop. And then for the button, I can just take this off for the button. Zero, I make this zero. So for the button, we have it that, that is that for the button. And for these two, I will remove the line break on what size did we give here for the content we gave it let's just make it 30 standard so we'll make this 30 30 and then i'll remove this simple as that come here make this Remove the line brick. Content. I'll make this 30. And then remove for the button. I'll remove that. Here. Remove line brick. Oops. What did I do? Let me close this. I was going to the Elemental Compressor plugin. I don't want that. This is just for test and dev. And then make this 30 and then remove that margin there. So this is what it looks like on mobile. This is what it looks like on mobile. Very soon we are going to come and add links to these buttons. So let's go ahead and publish it. And then let's preview it on the front end. I think I like what I see. I like what I see. Uh, this is uh, this is pretty good. So what we want to go ahead and um, put down here is we'll first of all add um, testimonials, and then after that we we'll add uh, featured logos. So for testimonials, let's come and search for testimonials. Okay. So we have this, we'll add this here. Um, we are going to first of all make this to be black. Sorry, content should be black. Then typography should be poppins. Poppins. then i want to give it a background or rather i want to give it i want this to be gold the color the same gold color for uh, which is the brand color i want the text to be gold i want the text to be gold but i want the entire background the entire background to be um on the entire background to be uh, black so what i should have done is this i should have added these columns and then i will drag this here i want to give this a padding i want to give this a padding of 25 and then i want to give it a background color of black and then i want to give it a border radius i don't want it, the border to be sharp as uh, they are right now so i want to give it a border radius of maybe 
um, 30. So these are the testimonials. I can just, to make this longer, I can copy this and still just paste here. Control V. So those should be the testimonials for each of the testifiers. So um, when we come to style for the name, we want to change it to white. And then uh, it should also be poppins. And then the title should also be white. Here I'll change the title to the person city which should be probably New York New York that is that so we can now attach images here we already have some images on our media section so I can add this gentleman first that's the first testifier the first, first reviewer and then I may want to reduce the text size to 12 and then I can duplicate this uh, not uh, one of the things I want to do is also to give it a margin all around of at least five so that when I duplicate it the space between the two is going to be 10 duplicate now so these are the testimonials and then I can go ahead and change the image of this person to be this lady here and then I change this to let it be this gentleman And then I change this finally, this lady. Now, you can also still do some work. I should have done this before uh, even. You can still do some work. You can add, uh, you can change all of this. You can change all of this, the city and all that. So we can go ahead and do all of that. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Let me delete that up there and then I will give a top margin of 40 why not uh, 60 to give it enough space I will publish that then I want to add a carousel a carousel for logos so you see image carousel here i'm going to drag it and put it here i want to add logos like featured on i'm going to select all of this these are the logos that i'm going to add there and i want the logos the full size to be shown and then slides to show let's say four and then you can look for additional options additional options you can change the for the images you can change it should be centered navigation the position for navigation you could make it outside so that it is seen here the navigation uh, bar arrow is shown outside and then you can do a lot you can change a lot here you can use change these navigation arrows to be something else and then on top of that I want to put a heading that says featured on featured on 
or as featured on as featured on and then we are going to make this to be Montserrat we make it black and then should be Montserrat and then I want to give this a top margin of 60 as featured on now let me go ahead and check this on mobile now i don't like this uh, buttons here being shown the color so i'll make the color to be transparent pagination so the color i'll make it transparent active color too should be transparent people should only see the slider sliding but not see uh, the controls so that's how i want it to be now let's go ahead i'll save that I want to check it on mobile. Okay, 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 okay. I like what I see. We could still go ahead and increase the top part in here for all of this, but we will not be labeled that. I'll leave that as it is. So this is the website. This is the front page of the website in a nutshell. It looks also good on mobile. Let's preview it. This is the website. These are testimonials. What we can do if we want to space them out is that we can make this to be full width instead of. We can make this to be full width. Now, when you go and check that, you see. It's going to be looking a lot better uh, not really but we can make it boxed but we can make it boxed but increase this to 1200 to give them more space more breathing space you could go ahead and increase it you see it's past this uh, the, the, the borders of this what if we made it 1300 you can go ahead and check it here and you see that it is more spaced out i like it this way i like it this way okay so let's go ahead and work on the other page now we have these other pages you see we've rebuilt everything from scratch one thing is that one thing we need to take into consideration is that uh, these buttons are still norm we will add links to them so the first thing we want to do is that we want to come back to our to audible to settings and product layouts so we are gone ahead and added um uh, done some configuration for we had gone ahead and done some configuration for uh, audible what we want to do now is to add some more products we are going to add maybe just uh two or three of them or maximum five so what we can do is that let's come to all products so you can see all products here we had added a vegan pizza i want to go ahead and duplicate it and then change and then i'll see legos pizza same description but i'm going to change the image this is legos pizza i'm going to change that there and then i'm going to make it let's say it's 11 dollars and it also falls under categories pizza i'll publish that i'll come again under all products um and for this i'm going to now for legos pizza i was supposed to edit the uh, the link the permalink then let me go and duplicate this again and i'll say detroit pizza 
uh, and I'll change this to Detroit or let me you can just copy this and dump it there it's going to figure out itself paste okay you see it has figured out itself let me look for Detroit pizza this should be boom yeah That's Detroit Pizza. I'll set product image and then I'll change it to $13. I'll publish that. Come to all products again and then I'm going to duplicate this and then I want to change this to New York. City Pizza. I'll copy this and dump this here. Okay. And then I want to change the image to New York. I want to look for New York. New York. This should be it. This should be it. It's loading. that should be it then i'll say this is uh everything in new york city is expensive so it's 15 dollars i was supposed to uh, copy this and put here copy and paste here for each of them copy and paste there let me go to the other ones. Uh, Detroit Pizza. Let me give them a short description too. The same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Yes. Same thing there. Um, Lagos Pizza. I will do the same thing here. I will publish, I will update. And let me see if Vegan Pizza has any such too. Oh, short description. I will paste it here. Okay, <clears throat> now I want to go ahead. Let me reload this. Let me go ahead and duplicate this. Okay, and I'll call this pepperoni. Pepperoni pizza. <clears throat> I'll copy that. I'll paste it here. And let it sort itself out. Uh, pepperoni pizza. Uh, I actually did not spell pepperoni properly, but you forgive me for that. So, that is pepperoni pizza. Let me give it a short description. Let me give it a short description. Okay, it already has. And I'll say this is, uh, this is $10. And it's also on the pizza. Now. Okay. So. I want to give another category. I want to give another category of uh, products. Let me come here. And I'll duplicate. I'll still duplicate this. The vegan pizza. I'll still duplicate the vegan pizza. But I want to create a new category. And I want to see beverages. Beverages. And then I want to remove <coughs> the pizza categorization. And then I'll see cook. Diet cook. Let me see diet cook. Diet cook. And I want to change the image here to give it the image of the diet cook. 
I don't know if that's the image of the Diet Coke, forgive me. Then I'll set this to that and then uh, this is going to be $7. Okay, and then I'm going to publish. So, if you look here, you have all these products. You have all these products here. So what we want to go ahead now is to go ahead and do the categorization. Let's go to uh, orderable, click on product layouts. And then this is what we already did for all products. Now, since we've set this to be, um, this should be the layout for everything. This is how they look here. So let me go ahead and reload this. So this is for the products we have. So for categories, I'll add beverages here because we've added a beverage. So it's going to show the cook. So this is basically how it is going to be. Now let me go ahead and update that and then click back on product layout. Now this is the short code we are going to use to display the products on any page on any page let me say for example let me delete all of these pages yes leave i want to come on uh, under pages let me open the pages in the new tab this is home uh, menu yes this should be the page we'll use menu so this is the menu page let's go ahead and edit this with Elementor okay you see I don't really like I don't understand what uh, they did here edit with Elementor the theme is so so weird but we'll take it the way it is so what I want to do is that trying to display this on this page may be a bit tricky so because even to edit with elementor is showing me something totally different let me just delete this and then um i will first of all add a container here i want this to be full width it's still not full width so the same thing we ex experience with the home page let me trash this page and then I want to create a new page. It's loading. I want to make this to be menu. I want to publish it. Publish. And then edit with Elementor. Okay. So edit with Elementor. Let's add a container here and then for this container we want to give it an image a background of an image uh, we'll select the image we can still use this and we want to give it um, a heading and see choose or see make your choice your choice and then we want it to be gold the same gold which we have here let me do that shortly i think i still have this okay we want this to be gold this same gold i'll copy this i'll paste it here and then we want to make it to be montserrat Montserrat and I want it to be 900 bold very very bold and see and then I want to add an icon an icon right down and it should be an arrow arrow pointing downwards or it could be this and then the button color should be Copy that. I think I should use another arrow. 
another arrow let me use this this looks a lot better yes it looks a lot better and then i'll come to style background overlay i'll make it black background and then i want the position to be center center and then top margin 100 pardon rather 100 okay but i want it to be darker the overlay to be darker i want it to be darker yes that is it let me preview this on mobile how it looks beautiful i like it this way on mobile we could even go ahead and reduce the pardon make the top to be 80 or 75 and the bottom let's reduce that okay then what i want to do is that i want to bring look for short code for short code and add it here and then i want to come and copy this short code here copy it all of these pages this one is not in french they say inutile it's useless I want to paste this short code here and there you go you have the items you have the, the menu items let me give this a top margin of 50 50 you can make it 60 so this will be the page uh, your visitors will come to when they want to look uh, book um, if they want to make a place an order this is how it looks on mobile this how it looks on mobile and believe you me it is good it is it is really good so there we have it now what we want to do is that we want to trash the contact page let me view it first of all if it's any good then we can use it if not um yes let's see if we can use this let's try to edit it with elementor it appears to me that i didn't select the page builder maybe this is for just for the uh, default theme builder or maybe it's for breezy uh, because i don't understand why a lot of this i'm trying to edit and it looks like it's supposed to use a classic classic editor instead of elementor it's it's unlike um it's unlike astra uh, the same thing same error let me go ahead and trash the contact page and then i'll add a new page contact page we will still come back to that other page there is a very very important hack we can do there so don't go away keep watching let me edit with elemental okay so i want to copy this header this hero section i'll copy it and paste it here here i want to put envelope i'll use this and i'll say contact us contact us now here we have to download a new plugin There is a plugin it's called metform this first one 
it's very very useful it gives you the flexibility of um, of the default elementor form which comes with the pro elementor uh, version with the premium elementor version so let's reload this and let's come to met form you can go ahead and update all of this whenever if you see something like that okay next step no next step next step we don't need all of this okay let's just come to forms oh my he's still asking for all of this next 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 step next step next step next step see changes okay so we come to forms we want to create a new form add new and so it gives you some um let's say contact let's name our form contact form so you can choose the kind of forms you want from here um contact form you can demo this that's search it already gives you some uh, ones that have already been built so this is what it's going to look like that's what it looks like and it's good it's not bad not bad oh so when you see pro it means it's a pro form you can't use that for free you need to get the med form pro to get that but one just a basic form we can use this one and see edit form it's loading okay so you see we can add a number of um where you see subject here uh it, it gives us a number of um we can go ahead and edit this and add whatever it is you desire so we are not going to belabor this much because uh, it's just for contact purposes you can change fields here you can change fields you can make this to be full width 100% you can change the text you see the name you can change the name here place other text and all that so you can change a lot here i'm just going to use it the way it is i'll say update and close so this is it also gives me a short code you have to get used to using short codes in elementor very very simple just click and drag one so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to close this i'm going to give um two equal and then here i'm going to put the map a map google map and then here i'm going to drag the short code here i'm going to drag the short code and place it there so uh, you see the the form here let me give this a top margin of um, let's see 70 and then i can increase this the ma the height of this map i can make it to be that long you can put your address whatever address it is you have you can put it there let's look it on let's look at it on the front end of the page so you see that is that let's just leave it that basic now for this area here you might want to change this or you might want to remove it so go to your back end go to appearance elemental footer and header 
So let me come back. Now, when you are editing any page, you, you can just come here. This should be called the before footer, before footer section. And you can edit it. Let's, it's not built using elemental header footer. So let's go and check on. Let's go to appearance and customize. Let's look for footer builder. So this section here, here it is. This should be it. This section, this entire section, we can just right click on it. This is it here. So we can just right click on it and delete it. Let's click on these settings. And we can delete this. Let me remove this. Remove, remove, and remove. So that has been removed. You can see it here. It has been removed. And then I can just click on update. If I load any page, you will not see that there anymore. So you can see it is gone. But if you want it, you can go ahead and keep it. Now let's rearrange <coughs> our menu. First of all, the logo we're working on was emailed to me. It was emailed to me. I don't know what's happening. Let me log back in. Let me sign back in. And then I'll meet you on the other end. So I went ahead and logged back in. Let me go to appearance, customize. The logo was sent to me uh, into my inbox. Go to site identity, site logo and settings, site logo. You know, you can go ahead and use this or you can use the one which was sent to me. Here it is. It was sent to me. I downloaded it. But you can go ahead and use whatever it is you desire. Let me close all of these pages. Uh, this page doesn't even exist anymore. I trashed it. So let me change let me first of all remove remove and then i'll change the logo i'll just use the one that i made just so, fyi just so you know <laughs> the one the one that was there looks a lot better than what i made so this is just for tutorial purposes uh site title resto Pizza. Okay. The best pizza in town. Publish that. Then for the side icon, we didn't design anything specifically, but we can use this and then just drag that to show this part of the logo. And then crop image. Okay, let me go back to the home page. Okay, let me change the home page. Let me go to pages. The old home page is there. I'm going to trash it. And then I'm going to go to settings, reading. And then I need to choose a static page. Home test. Even though it's not going to show home test, I will change that. So if you go now to the home page, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I need to add the other pages to the menu. So I'll come to appearance, menus, 
let me delete these ones which are no longer there and remove selected i want to add contact menu and let me go to contact and menu i'm even going to remove this about us page we don't need it so home and then i'll change it the label to home contact, uh, menu and contact those are the only things that are necessary so that is that um when we go now to and uh, look at this you can see that it's a full-fledged website now we want this to take you to the menu page so let me just right click and copy link address then we come to customize and when it comes to the header builder the button this is the button and the link we are going to paste this here and then you see before if you clicked on this it took you nowhere but let me refresh now if you click it takes you to the menu page it takes you to the menu page now let's do some more customization on audible audible let's go to audible if you hear child crying in the background it's my son he's crying uh product layout now let's go to edit and um look at this uh, it shows you uh, sections you can choose the sections here say all category titles so sections top tabs rather so you see it gives you the opportunity to filter by by um the category so it will give you these tabs here let me update that and take you to the menu page and show you so on this menu page now you now see you will now have the ability to filter so but it poses a problem because most people may not notice this so want to create a new category and under that new category we are going to place all the products that is both beverages and uh, uh beverages and pizza so by default you see all the products and then you can filter by yourself so what i'm going to do is under products i'm going to come to categories and create a new category say all 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 I'm going to create that and then it's been created I want to come to all products now and I want to put every one of them under that category called all so that is that I'll update just come to quick edit click on quick edit you don't need to uh, you don't need to open it on a new page quick edit select all so each of them is under two categories now the diet cook is under beverages and under all pizza is under pizza and under all no not this quick edit and this is really really important because people really get distracted sometimes if you left it like this some people may not even notice there's something here like pizza and they'll think well you sell only cook and they'll click off so let me reload this okay it's not going to show now i need to do some work let me come to audible uh, product layouts product layouts and then edit this now i need to add this category or here and then yes so if i come now here and i reload this you see by default or or 
it defaults to all the next beverages the next pizza so it shows you everything then if you want just beverages you click if you want just pizza you click so that is that that is that labels let's leave these ones the way they are now look at how this works if i select this by default what do you see it gives me um the opportunity to check to add this add this add this add this add this and then add to cart now i can just go ahead and check out you see it has added the extra prices for all of those and given me the sum total it has given me the sum total so what is left is for you to attach your payment gateway now what do i do i'll go to the back end the dashboard of the website and then i'll go to plugins and click on add new um let's see if you are using stripe you search for stripe woocommerce and then you could use this one payment plugins for stripe woocommerce woocommerce stripe payment gateway this one is it's uh, been used by so many people never mind negative reviews okay we already had that so uh, i'll come to no not there i'll come to plugins Let me come to WooCommerce first and come to settings and then come to payments and then I will toggle on Stripe and then what you can simply do is to connect your Stripe account click here And then it's going to take you here where you can go ahead and connect your stripe account so that is that you can go ahead and do this and that will be a full-fledged website for you now let's come to the home page of the website let's come here now you can see that's the website in perspective and then you can see this cart here this hanging cart here it shows you the products which you have added to cart so that is the good thing about it this is the menu order page now we have not gone through all the functionalities that audible has to offer it has a ton lot now let me just give you a few other examples which will benefit you live order view let me exit out of here this one is not may not be very relevant for most people now come to audible uh, product add-ons we've already seen those you can add uh, add-ons for pizza and for others uh, you can add table orders here for people to be able to book tables you can add your locations so that people can choose locations wherever they want and then under settings you can set up whatsapp or text message so that you can receive orders via whatsapp or text messages look at you can include your google api you can also add tips you can also add tips so if somebody wants to give a tip uh, maybe a five dollar tip uh you can label this five dollar tip and then the type is fixed and then the amount is five dollars default no tip no tip label no tip and then enable custom tip yes so you can save that and then upon checkout 
your buyers are going to get the opportunity to give no tip to give a five dollar tip or to choose the amount of tip they want then for the checkout settings you can show your logo enable custom checkout you can add your logo here all of these are going to show i don't want to make this a lot longer than it is because it's already a very very long uh, video so we did a very very long video so that is that for this um, menu ordering uh, restaurant ordering website that is that for the re restaurant ordering website you can go ahead and customize this uh, to your taste <clears throat> now you see we since we enabled custom checkout it has gone ahead and does, uh, done this you can choose pick up date and also you can add delivery for here it shows that deliveries are free but you can come to shipping you can come to shipping under woocommerce and then come to woocommerce settings and then you can come to shipping and then you can add the shipping zone let's see uh, New York City that's for let's see you service just New York cities uh, New York yeah let's see just New York State um, flat rate shipping continue and the shipping cost maybe it's 1.5 dollars create and save I'll go now to audible let's go to the checkout it still shows 1.5 uh, free shipping we have to attach that uh, free shipping that shipping to flat rate we have to attach it to a product to this particular product and then it's going to show you by default it shows free shipping now let me disable that what we have there the custom checkout on audible i don't see any reason having that it just makes it a little bit more confusing check out no. yes we use the orderable checkout so you can go ahead and customize all of this and notice you can use orderable if you are selling uh, even clothes uh, let's say you are selling a shirt but somebody can uh, 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 add cufflinks somebody can also add uh, you, you you know you can do this if you sell custom made shirts somebody can choose to have white collar uh, somebody can choose to have cufflinks you can use this for for even for fashion so i hope you found value in this uh, video please if you found value go ahead click like this video subscribe to this channel comment uh, whatever it is you want maybe you are not happy with the video if there's something i missed out Please go ahead and write it out on the comment section and click on the notification bell so that whenever I post videos like this, you will be notified. Please, if there is any other thing you want me to uh, create a video about, just go ahead and suggest that, comment that on the comment section. God bless you. Bye-bye.